Now let's solve question 7. Here we have two questions, 7a and 7b. Now let's solve question 7a. In an athletic competition, 812 tickets were sold for $1,902. If students paid $2 per ticket and non-students paid $3, how many more students than non-students were present? So let's solve this problem. So from the question, we don't know the number of students who were present, neither do we know the number of non-students who were present. So we say that let x and y represent the number of students and non-students respectively. So x represents the number of students and then y represents the number of non-students. Now in the question, we are told that 812 tickets were sold, which means that the number of people who were present for the competition were 812. And this comprises of the total number of students who were present and the total number of non-students who were present. Therefore, the total number of students plus the total number of non-students is equal to the total ticket sold, which is 812. Now let's call this equation 1. Again, we are told that the total number of tickets sold, which is 812 tickets, amounts to $1,912. So what this primarily means is that the price per ticket for a student, which is $2, times the number of students who are present, plus the price per ticket for non-students, times the number of non-students who were present is equal to the price for the total ticket sold, which is 1,912. Now let's call this equation 2. Therefore, we can solve the two equations simultaneously to find x and y. So let's do that. So from equation 1, we can make y the subject. So we say that make y the subject from equation 1. So we have y equals 812 minus x. We call this equation 3. Now we are going to put equation 3 into equation two so we have two x that is for equation two two x plus three y now in place of y we have eight hundred and twelve minus x equals one thousand nine hundred and twelve now let's simplify so this becomes two x plus three times eight hundred and twelve gives two thousand 436 we have negative 3x equals 1912 2x minus 3x is negative x and then we have 1912 minus 2436 so negative x equals 1912 minus 2436 is equal to negative 524 so we divide through by negative 1 and then we have x to be equal to 524 now if x is equal to 524 then from equation 3 we have y equals 812 minus 524 
that is from equation 3 and then y is equal to 288 therefore the number of students who were present for the competition is equal to 524 and the number of non-students is 288 now we are asked to find the number of students than non-students who were present therefore the number of students more than non students present is going to be x minus y so 524 minus 288 and that is equal to 200 and 36 so there were 236 students more than non-students present at the competition now let's move on to question 7b so question 7b two numbers are such that twice the first added to the second is 21 if twice the second added to the first is 27 find the numbers Two numbers are such that twice the first added to the second is 21. Now since we don't know these two numbers, we say that let the first number be x and the second number be y so the first number is x and the second number is y so two numbers are such that twice the first so two times the first number which is x added to the second number so plus y is equal to 21 let's call this equation 1 if twice the second number so if twice the second number added to the first number so plus x is equal to 27 let's call this equation 2 find the numbers now let's make one of the variables the subject in any of the two equations so from equation 1 make y the subject so we are going to make y the subject from equation 1 therefore y is equal to 21 minus 2x we call this equation 3 now we are going to put equation 3 into equation 2 so for equation 2 we have 2 times y now in place of y we have 21 minus 2x plus x equals 27 2 times 21 is 42 2 times 2x is 4x plus x equals 27 negative 4x plus x is negative 3x and then we transpose 42 to the right hand side so we have 27 minus 42 which is equal to negative 15 so negative 3x equals negative 15 we divide through by negative 3 by negative 3 and then we have x equals 5 
now we are going to put x equals 5 into equation 3 so y equals 21 minus 2 times 5 2 times 5 is 10 therefore 21 minus 10 is 11 therefore the first number which was represented as x is equal to 5 and the second number represented by y is equal to 11.